Hi, I'm Jack Crawford on the tech staff at IPC. The tech tip is about measles. No, it isn't about a personal illness that will give you an excuse to skip work. Measles are a visible condition that can appear on a PCB made from epoxy and a woven reinforcement material, usually fiberglass. Measles are always below the surface and show up as discrete white dots or crosses at a place where one fiber crosses another. It's an indication that the fiberglass has separated from the epoxy material. There are a lot of causes for measles, and uh, they can occur when the PCB is being manufactured or during the assembly process. One thing is for certain about measles, they are always occur because of temperature. There are other visual anomalies that can sometimes be confused with measles. One is where white spots or crosses actually connect to each other. This is called crazing. This is an example of measles where the dots are discrete. In 1973, uh, a committee did an exhaustive study on measles, studying their effect on uh, long-term reliability or, more particularly, if they have a failure mechanism. The results were conclusive. Except in very unique circumstances, measles are not a failure mechanism. Technology has made a lot of changes since 1973. Most noticeably is the narrowing of space between conductors. And uh, in 2003 and 2004, when the IPC A610 and J-Standard 001 committees were developing Vision D, there was a lot of committee discussion about CAF, the growth of uh, filaments, conductive filaments between non-common conductors. Uh, these assembly houses were getting pushback uh, and returns from uh, field failures that resulted from CAF. So in Revision D, there was a concerted effort to try to control the formation of CAF. One of the thoughts or one of the concerns was that CAF can more easily grow on the disrupted fibers that uh, are inherent with measles or with crazing. Uh, as a result, uh, we established a liaison between the uh, Assembly and Joining Committees and the Board Acceptance Committees uh, with a goal to try and uh, revise or tighten the criteria a little bit. Uh, we uh, thought that there was good concurrence between all the committees, and J-Standard 1 and 610D that were published first uh, ended up with a uh, much tighter criteria for measles. However, Later on, some months later, when the Bear Board Acceptance Committees uh, published their standards, uh, there was a uh, disconnect in there, a change of mind, and they decided not to change their criteria. Uh, as a result, we had a major conflict between the end item acceptance standards, which were more rigid for measles, than the Bear Board acceptance. This wasn't good for the industry, created a lot of conflict, a lot of uh, confusion and concern. And uh, the Technical Activities Executive Committee for IPC that manages all of our technical activities said we had to resolve it, got to fix it. So uh, another group went out, did some additional study uh, about CAF and CAF uh, particularly as it relates to measles. And the results of that study was that uh, CAF doesn't grow any faster across measles than it does through good, firm, hard laminate material itself. So we generated amendments for IPC A610D, J-Standard 001D, uh, IPC 6012, and IPC A600G that had common language all the way through. Measles are acceptable for class 1, 2, and 3 assemblies. Uh, with the exception that for class 3, if the measle is greater in size than 50% of the spacing between non-common conductors, uh, the, uh, it has to be treated as a process indicator. Uh, still would be um, used as is in most cases. If you'd like to uh, see these amendments, if you don't have them already, uh, or if you'd like to read that measles studies, everything is available at uh, www.ipc.org forward slash downloads, D-O-W-N-L-O-A-D-S. Uh, you can also fire a message to the tech support staff, answers at ipc.org, and we'll be glad to help you. So, if you got measles on your face and about your body, that's your own problem. You'll need to resolve that one. If you have questions about measles on electronics assembly, 
ITC standards are here to help you.